The life of a performance horse can be stressful. Many show horses have been retired early due to perceived burnout in the show arena. Many of these horses seem unable to cope or perform due to magnesium shortfall manifesting in various ways, such as spooking, hyperactivity, and anxiety in the show environment. Magnesium deficient horses may exhibit nervous behavior or become consistently inconsistent. They may be prone to insulin resistance and have a crusty neck or fat pads on their hindquarters. Some horses with a diagnosis of insulin resistance also exhibit other signs of magnesium deficiency such as poor tolerance for work, chronic body soreness, and muscle twitching. Horses become deficient for many reasons. One of the main reasons is physical exertion. Simply put, the more a horse works, the more magnesium their bodies need. The more intense the work, the faster rate at which a horse burns through available magnesium. Stress. The lower a horse's magnesium levels go, so does their threshold for incoming stress. And the more you try to fatigue a deficient horse, such as by lunging or riding for extended periods of time, the lower their magnesium levels go as well. Calcium and magnesium work together. During a flight or fight response, calcium rushes into the cell and muscles contract. The horse flees. When the threat is over, magnesium in the cell pushes the calcium back out and muscles and nervous system relax. Without adequate levels of cellular magnesium in the cell to push the calcium back out, calcium leaks back in and creates a shiver effect, keeping that cell in a semi-stimulated state all the time. The more a horse spooks, the more magnesium they burn and waste. The lower magnesium levels go, the more sensitive they become to their surroundings and their own adrenaline response. This becomes a vicious cycle that the horse cannot get out of unless and until we supplement them with magnesium. There are many signs of magnesium deficiency, both physical and mental. Not every deficient horse presents the same way or with the same behaviors. Some horses show more of the mental or behavior signs. Some horses show only the physical signs. Most of the time, the horse will show some of both. Maybe your once brown-proof horse has become wary and spooky. Maybe he or she has begun to have episodes of tying up or has become sour for the shoer with its back legs or resistant to being saddled or brushed. Magnesium deficiency builds gradually over time and can make a once lovely horse hard to handle and train. These horses are best described as consistently inconsistent and can be frustrating for owners to figure out. One day they can be brilliant and the next day hot, spooky, and unreliable, leaving the rider puzzled and frustrated. Under saddle, magnesium shortfall manifests as hollow movement, short strided or reduced range of motion, high headed, stiff, or bracy. Collected work can also be difficult for a deficient horse because magnesium deficiency causes muscles to be tight and inflexible. These horses are also very prone to muscle cramps and rapid lactic acid buildup. Magnesium deficient horses are often chronically body sore. In response, owners often buy new custom saddles, pads, and gear in an effort to help alleviate back and body soreness to no avail. Many of these horses present with very sore hard muscles, especially in their backs, and are grumpy about being touched or brushed. Often, deficient horses are intolerant to body work because they are so sore. This leads some owners to resort to using muscle relaxers and pain medication to help the horse recover. This may offer short-term relief, however, it does not address the underlying root cause of magnesium shortfall. We often are asked, can my vet test for low magnesium levels? Well, yes and no. Only approximately 1% of the body's magnesium is stored in serum blood. The rest is stored in soft tissue and bone. The body is extremely efficient at maintaining that 1% to facilitate the heart and major organs. So this means a horse can test within normal ranges on serum blood and still present with symptoms of magnesium deficiency. This also can further confuse the owner thinking they have ruled out deficiency However, this is not an accurate method to assess a horse's true magnesium status. The best way to know is to become familiar with the way each horse presents magnesium shortfall. When a horse becomes magnesium deficient, 
they will need supplementation to recover. Some horses require ongoing supplementation and some recover and no longer need our help. Most performance horses will require some level of supplementation as long as they are in full-time work. The type of magnesium is what's important to note. Most feed companies use oxide, which is cheap and great for cows, but not for horses. Many pelleted feeds and all-in-one vitamin mineral supplements contain added magnesium. Owners see this on the feed label and think their horse's magnesium needs are being met. However, it's usually magnesium oxide and definitely not a form the horse can utilize and definitely not enough to maintain normal magnesium levels, let alone overcome deficiency. MagRestore is the only equine magnesium supplement containing dimagnesium malate. This form of magnesium has proven itself to be highly therapeutic in recovering horses from deficiency and maintaining adequate magnesium levels in the athletic horse. MagBath is our transdermal or topical version of magnesium. Transdermal magnesium is readily absorbed through the skin and can be very useful in maintaining magnesium levels and is a wonderful recovery tool. Transdermal magnesium can help dissipate lactic acid, alleviate cramping, reduce post-workout soreness, restore magnesium levels after strenuous work, and aid the body in repairing muscles. Transdermal magnesium is also a good magnesium alternative for horses who will not eat the supplement. Simply mix the mag bath salt in warm water and sponge it all over your horse. Leave on for 20 minutes. We also offer magnesium oil. It's ready to use out of the bottle to either spot treat or mix with water and use as an all over sponge bath.